So hello there, it's 11 days since we took out the eggs of Somio uh, Ricini and put them into this kind of little plastic uh, cups here and most of them now they have hatched and we should give them another kind of a, a container for rearing them at L1, L2 stage, even probably L3 stage and I have an idea for you as you probably know, there's a lot of possibilities how to breed and rear uh, caterpillars, but it should be uh, thing that's easy to manage, and um, probably the most important thing is that it should be also not very expensive, that you can reuse things that you already have, and so on. So what I found is this uh, uh, document uh, box here. This is made for... Um, just paper, documents and so on. And I found that this could be a very nice uh, stacking method for the rearing of the small um, caterpillars. So what we do is that, <laughs> yeah, first you have to be able to open this, yeah, let's like this, okay. So most it's made, as you see, with, uh, with plastic. And there are some holes on the bottom of this, uh, uh, blue containers, that's very nice because it's a well aerated uh, thing also from the bottom of the container you can put kind of a toilet or household paper here you wet it a little bit so that humidity is high, that's an important thing for the uh, small L1 stage caterpillars and then of course you should prepare also uh, the material the feed plant for the fodder plant for the caterpillars. Here I have Prunus lauro cerosus, the cherry laurel. I will cut it with the knife in small pieces, but first let's have a look what we find here. How big they are now. As you can see here already in this container, you see a lot of small caterpillars here eating on Ligustrum ovarifolium. I also have one shrub outside. You probably know it from some other videos that have been made last year too. This year we don't have snow at this time, so the shrub is growing very well. You will see the green leaves of Ligustrum ovarifolium. And now I try to prepare a little bed for them with only some of the leaves of the lo cherry laurel that I cut in smaller pieces, chop a little bit like this and because I'm away now for three to four days uh, should be enough uh, food for them uh, to eat I only place it at the moment in the middle of this box because there are not uh, too many caterpillars now that I have to be afraid uh, that they are running away from the food plant. Now look, look how nice they are here. All these small caterpillars, L1 stage of Samia Ricini, the famous airy uh, silkworm from uh, uh, India, Thailand and a lot of other countries. Now as you can see here there are a lot of them, most of the eggs uh, seem to be to have hatched already and I also have to pay attention, I don't throw away some of them that are still crawling around somewhere here in this small container, but no, I can reuse this little plastic cup later for other eggs that I want to hatch, but of course I have to change the uh, plant material. Also here we see some of the caterpillars amidst a lot of uh, pellets, fecal pellets, of the caterpillars, so they have already grown They're pretty nice here. What I try to do, not to put too many of the, of the fecal pellets, 
on the top so that they can normally they crawl up if they are in a container like this they always go to the food that is uh, stacked on them they don't dive down into the substrate as long as it's humid enough if it's getting uh, dried out all the material of course then they also drive dive down in search of more humidity and then you can just cover them with some of these leaves and then that's the nice thing about this stacking method you just you just by oh, the wrong side huh then I'll just put them in here like this well also it has some holes for aeration here on the side and at the end of course I put the whole thing into uh, one of these aerariums here why because if you have some problems with uh, um, with insects that can harm your small caterpillars that's a nice thing to prevent uh, them from being attacked by other small uh, creatures mostly insects so so this is the next stage here although I think that you can put uh, if you like around 500 small caterpillars in one of this um, in one of these small pieces here because there's enough space here for them to develop in the first uh, week and as I showed you before I just take away the green leaves and present them a small bed and put the caterpillars then on top of it and cover them again with some more of this fresh feed material also as you know it's it's a nice thing about Thormio Rizzini that they eat a plant that is available everywhere worldwide in temperate regions this uh, Prunus Lauro Terrasus is a well-known garden gardening shrub for making fences and so on so here I have more of these caterpillars look it's quite it's filled with with freshly emerged caterpillars here let's have a look whether we can show it a little bit better yeah yeah everything very nice small caterpillars some of them they sit on the plastic sides of this little cup so I have to take them away very carefully normally uh, you make this with a feather from a small bird or oh, that's the the easiest thing and the most uh, traditional also to take them away with a feather because the feather they can't hurt the caterpillars in this stage so that's it I'll try to take them out with a piece of leaf or if it's high enough we can also just like this yeah. they're very small fragile at this stage of course so that's a, good, a nice thing to have a, a feather or a very small um, leaf like this so you can't really hurt them mostly they also as soon as you touch them they stick to the leaf because they don't want to fall down the tree that are sitting on so now we have them here check through the old substrate whether you forgot some and then of course it also here cover them with some new food and that's all so that's what you have to do now with all of this little cups that already have hatched uh, caterpillars inside and the others of course I leave in the plastic cups until I see the signs that they have hatched and come out of their egg shells now that's it second stage here 
and of course you can also put more than just uh, as I already said more than uh, just uh, 100 mostly around 100 uh, eggs or caterpillars in one of these cups so you can also if you like put two or three of these cups into one Humidity is important, but not dropping wet. That's a danger. If you, then a lot of uh, mold is developing on the on the fecal pellets, and that is not good for the health of the of the small caterpillars. Also here, look how beautiful that they have developed here. Normally, the if they are young and you have the Prunus laurel terrasus leaves in the cup already for a week they get too hard so the caterpillars cannot eat the Prunus laurel terrasus leaves when they are dried out a little bit but now if you give them fresh leaves like this of course they can eat it now and they will enjoy it a lot here also I forgot one of the caterpillars down here also this one I have to carefully remove and take back to the container. That's about all. So that's the job now. If you're interested in uh, uh, coming with me through the rearing process of Samia or Itin, you just uh, subscribe to this channel and every time I upload a new video you will get an email message. And this uh, Samia or Itini caterpillars I will check again in about four to five days. Thanks for watching.